To create a new virtual machine, we need the VirtualBox Manager with the latest extension pack installed. And we also need an ISO image of our Fedora workstation. To create a new virtual machine, we use the New button. In the next step, we specify the name we would like to give to our virtual machine. We will call this Fedora Workstation 38. You will see where this virtual machine will be created. And in the next step, we can specify an ISO image. Uh, in our case, I have already added the ISO image for Fedora Workstation, but you can also browse for the ISO image of Fedora Workstation. You can see that automatically the correct Linux type is recognized. So for us, this is Fedora 64-bit as an OS type. And then we proceed to the next step. In the next step, we can allocate some base memory. Uh, we indicate that at least 4 GB of base memory should be provided, depending, of course, on the amount of memory that is available. Uh, we can extend this by shifting the bar to the right. Let's say that I will provide approximately 8 GB of memory. This will provide us with sufficient memory left to run our host system. And so only 8 GB will be given to the guest system. Also for the processors, when you can increase the number of processors, that you can move to the guest system. Note that we cannot exceed uh, the amount that was depicted by the, the green bar as we go into the red area. Uh, this will remove processor cores from our host system, but of course our host system still needs to be able to run the guest system. In the next step, we will create a new virtual hard drive. Uh, by default, 15 gigabytes is depicted, but for the Advanced Bachelor of Bioinformatics program, we want to allocate at least 30 gigabytes and preferably more. So I will specify that we want to add 50 gigabytes of disk space to our virtual machine. This is dynamically allocated, so the disk size will increase as we add new files to the virtual machine. It will not be automatically 50 gigabytes in size. We proceed to the next step and we get an overview of our settings and we can finish the setup of our virtual machine. Before we boot for the first time, we still need to change some settings. This we can do using the settings option. In the settings tab, there are some things that we would like to change. For example, when we go to the system tab, one of the most important items to change is the boot order. At this moment, we have mounted our ISO image of Fedora to the optical drive, and we would like to install this to the hard drive, which is now empty. The first time that we boot, we want to boot from the optical drive, and we want to install Fedora to the hard disk. The second time that we boot, we don't want to boot from the optical drive anymore, but we want to boot from the hard drive. Thus, we will move the hard disk up. As a second one, we place the optical drive, and we remove the floppy disk. The first time that we boot, we will try to boot from the hard disk, which is empty. Thus, we boot from the optical drive. Next, we install Fedora on the hard disk, so that the second time that we boot, we can actually boot from the hard disk. Another setting that we would like to change is the display setting, where we would like to add extra video memory to our virtual machine. And here, we will increase this to the outermost right side, so the largest number that is possible. Normally, for the other settings that we have, uh, the ISO image is already mounted to the virtual machine. We don't need to change audio, network, serial port, USB, and so on settings. Later on, we will set up a shared folder, but this is for a different video. We can confirm our settings with OK, and then we are ready for the next step, where we boot for the first time. 